<laughs> Hello, people. Another beautiful day or night. Yep. Hope your five senses work health and strength is good. What? What's up, gamers? What's up, Steam Deck fans? You know, Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion. What's good? Steam Deck Mob, what's happening? And the Steam Deck Squad. And let's not forget about the Steam Deck uh, Rollers. <laughs> anyway, so. Valve has hired legal counsel. Valve hi hired legal counsel in the mic in the Activ Activ in the Microsoft Activision merger case. I told you a lot can happen in ten days. Hmm. Remember, March first, Sony got it got to turn in some paperwork. All right, listen to this. <laughs> this case is getting interesting by the minute. Says here. Uh, okay, where, where are we at? Says here. Valve hires legal counsel to appear in the FTC Microsoft Activision merger. Valve has hired legal counsel to represent the PC gaming giant in the Federal Trade Commission proceedings on the Microsoft Activision merger case. Mm. American video game developer and PC storefront operator Valve uh, Corporation has hired legal counsel to represent the company in the FTC's Activision merger proceedings. What's up, Tweaktown? Anyway, says here, uh, <laughs> says here, uh, the Federal Trade Commission case uh, ledger confirmed that Valve will be a part of the FTC administrative lawsuit against the Microsoft Activision merger. The filing, which was signed and published on February 17, 2023, showed that Fox Fox Rothschild LLP partner Kristen W. Uh, Braz will represent Valve in the FTC merger case. Valve will be included as a third party as it has not filed complaints against the merger. Chris, Christian uh, Boz's uh, pro, uh, profile page on Fox Rothschild website say that Boz is an experienced litigator with a national practice focused on class action, data privacy, intellectual property, and federal government contract litigations. Mm. Yeah, that was a lot. Anyway, <laughs> says here, Boz also has experience in complex case before federal agencies like the FTC. It is currently unknown in what capacity that Valve will be involved in the FTC merger case, and it is possible that one of the parties of my, one of the parties, Microsoft or Activision, have subpoenaed Valve in an attempt to secure more documents and file to supplement pro merger arguments. Microsoft previously made a 10 year commitment to Valve to continue offering Call of Duty on Steam if the Activision mer merger is approved. Valve, uh, Valve Corp CEO Gabe Newell disregarded Microsoft's off offer in good faith and said that such a deal is not necessary because Microsoft has kept its word in the past. Mm. Valve is seen as a proponent in favor of the 68.7 billion Microsoft Activision merger. <laughs> Here's what Noel told uh, publication Kotaku about Microsoft's 10-year Call of Duty offer. We're happy that Microsoft wants to continue using Steam to reach uh, customers with Call of Duty when their Activision acquisition closed. Microsoft has been on Steam for a long time and we take it as a signal that they are happy with gamers' reception to that, and to that, and the work we're doing. Our job is to keep the, our job is to keep building valuable uh, features for not only Microsoft but all Steam customers and partners. Microsoft offers, and even sent us a draft agreement for a long-term Call of Duty uh, commitment. Commitment. But it wasn't necessary for us because a we're not we're not a we're not believers in re requiring any partners to have an agreement that locks them to shipment games on Steam into distant future. To b Phil and the game team at Microsoft have always followed through on what they told us. They will do so. We trust their intentions. And c we think Microsoft has all the motivation they need to be on the platform and device 
where, where Call of Duty customers want to be. And that's the end of the article. <laughs> so, I told you a lot can happen in 10 days within this case. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this case is getting, it's, 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 it's just boil, it is boiling up, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. This is gonna, this is gonna be a fight in the courtroom, man. This is gonna be a fight. Okay. Hmm. Well, you got N okay, you got Nvidia, right, uh, supporting Microsoft in this. Hmm. You got Tencent, they're supporting Microsoft in this. Hmm. You got Saudi Arabia. You have uh, uh, Chile. You got Serbia and Brazil. Hmm. The employees are supporting Microsoft in this. The public is supporting Microsoft in this. And then there's the shareholders. Hmm. And now you got Valve hiring their own uh, their own lawyers hmm. in this case. Hmm. Yeah. Um, legal counsel, that is. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be a battle. Um... Microsoft offered uh, NVIDIA 10 years to bring their games to GeForce Now. Hmm. And then they offered Nintendo 10 years. So, uh, like I told you, a lot can ha happen in 10 days. Hmm. There will be some more countries to join this party, you know. So, this party ain't over. It's just getting started. <laughs> yeah. This is this was gonna be a battle, man. This was gonna be a battle, and um, Microsoft caught Sony lacking, especially when when they were cupcaking with Call of Duty. I guess Sony was thinking when the situation started that uh, it was gonna solve itself, but Microsoft is like, uh uh, we gotta seize this, and they jumped on it. Okay. They, they realize that Sony has no control over Activision Blizzard. And that was Sony's biggest mistake in all this. They realize that Sony um, contract with Call of Duty will expire in a couple of years. So that means Sony has to renew it. And then Microsoft like, okay, if we get Activision Blizzard, that means they got to come to us. <laughs> and, and swooped in with $68.7 billion. They, they did. <laughs> so... Um, this is going to be an interesting, um, a nice little battle in the courtroom. Oh, and more, more, and some more countries that are going to are going to be joining this. Okay. You, you're wait, um, China, China is waiting on, um, the FTC, the EU, the CMA to see what they say before they put, put their, put, uh, throw their, throw their support behind anybody. So... Other countries are going to be joining this little battle, so yeah. <laughs> and Valve said, "Okay, we're not going to go in there by ourselves. We want our own. We want our own legal counsel with us to protect us from whatever is being said in the courtroom." So, yeah, and making sure that Microsoft keep their word and stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs> Like 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 Bugs Bunny said in uh, Looney Tunes, <laughs> what a fight! <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a battle, man. So I'll keep you guys posted on anything new that I find going on with this with this court with this little Activision merger. But the clock is ticking and um, the deadlines are coming up. So yeah, this is gonna be a fight, man big one but Microsoft got some support in their corner anyway latest video for y'all to enjoy nice talking to you people again Chris still a Star Wars and Star Trek fan bored dark side go peace